everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title down below, in this video I'm going to be cooking some pasta shells stuffed with spinach and ricotta mixture and I'm going to bake it in the oven with a bolognese sauce, meat sauce, meat sauce for today. So we're going to use ground beef for the sauce, obviously like a bolognese kind of sauce, not authentic, this is just how I personally do it. I do have a spaghetti bolognese video up. The sauce will be similar. I didn't use red wine in that video, but I will be using a bit of, just a little teeny tiny bit of red wine tonight. So every time I do do like make a spaghetti or just a bolognese sauce for something different, like it's something different obviously today, I just switch it up every now and then. So obviously when I made that video, that's how I've done it that day and it still turned out super delicious. Um, so yeah, today, today will be similar, but a little bit different. Um, and then obviously with the pasta shells, it will be stuffed with that spinach ricotta filling. So that'd be very, very good. So before I show you guys the ingredients, I just want to run through the very first step I have already done. So that is with my spinach. I got 500 grams of spinach. I emptied out the boxes into a stainless steel bowl or just, well, that's just what I use. You can use any bowl that's big enough. So empty out the contents of your frozen chopped spinach in there. And I just poured over some boiling water and I'm just letting it sit. And I'll just, um, They'll just dissolve the spinach and break it up for when we need it. So I just got to cover it in water and I'm just going to set it off to the side for now. And then obviously when we need it, I'll show you guys what to do. But without further ado, we'll just jump straight into the, the ingredients. So to start off here, I brought some fresh focaccia rolls from the bakery. I'm going to do a side of garlic butter. So I'll show you guys, not garlic butter, garlic bread. So I'll show you guys how I make that. It's just super quick, simple and easy. So I've got... Focaccia, you can just use normal plain bread, any rolls. That's just what I ended up picking up this day when I was at the bakery. I got some cheese, some butter, and some ricotta cheese down there. I got 500 grams of beef mince and some garlic. These are the my pasta shells I'm using, which I'll do close up in just one second. I got a capsicum. And I got one carrot. With the capsicum as well, I'll probably use half of that because that is ginormous. I got some onion flakes dried up because I don't have any fresh onion. I didn't realize till now and I'm not going to the shop. So I'm just going to use some of that onion instead. I'll use a little bit of honey to sweeten it and basil and oregano to season my bolognese sauce. Obviously in this big old container, the bowl is the spinach. I'm using a 700 gram jar of Posada cooking sauce. What's that called? I got some wine here. I just got that red one. No idea. I've had it for ages. So I always cook with that. Um, so just yeah, whatever cooking, well, red wine that you like to cook with, just use that. Um, and just some salt and pepper as well. So these are the pasta shells. They're quite large, so they'll be nice and easy to stuff. Um, that's the brand. I've never really used this or even seen of this to be honest. Um, so yeah, hopefully they go all right. All right, so in the pan and over medium to high heat, I'm just going to put in the mince. I'm not going to use any oil or anything because we just don't need it. So I'll just cook this up and once it's all broken down and brown, we'll add the veggies. So because of the mince that I use, is quite a fatty one because I just use a cheap one. I'm just going to push it up to one side so the fat runs down. And then just scoop it out. Wow. Alright, so as you can see, there's still a teeny tiny little bit there, which that's completely fine. But this is how much I've taken out. I'm going to add the carrot and the capsicum, obviously. And obviously, if I was using fresh onion, I would add it now as well. But that's not the case. So just these two. So just turn down the heat to a low medium. I'll add in the sauce and I'm going to put a little bit of water in. <laughs> add that as well. So with the onion, basil, and oregano, it's just about a teaspoon of each. And 
And then for honey, I'm just gonna add a bit of tablespoon. Oh, sorry, I'm making so much noise. And I just put this in the microwave just to help it come out because whoop. Whoop. So that's pretty much all for the sauce. So I'm just going to leave it and let it simmer while we obviously start the pasta. I'm going to put a pot of water on now for the pasta. So I'll get that to a boil. So I'm adding the whole lot of the ricotta cheese, so it's 250 grams. Alright. So I've added the 250 grams, the whole lot of the ricotta cheese that I had. And I'm just going to be using just an ordinary spoon to mix it all around. Ooh, actually, there was one ingredient I forgot to add in with the bolognese and that is the wine. So let's go do that now. So yeah, like I said, um, during the ingredients, this is the red wine that I am using. I know nothing about it. I don't know if it's good or bad. I just brought some random ass red wine for like three or four years ago now. But that's what I'm using. So it's probably a little bit less than a quarter of a cup. I don't like too much. If you obviously don't like to cook with red wine, don't add it. Um, I just feel like being a little fancier tonight. So, and I do like the flavor a little bit, but I don't like it over the board. If you want to add more, add more, but for me, that's plenty. Back to the shell stuffing. All right, so we're back to this. We want to add a good decent amount of salt and pepper you know, obviously cheese is already salty but so you don't want to go too crazy with the salt but with the pepper we we want a lot of pepper in this In this mix, just with some garlic, I'm probably going to use about a tablespoon. So, give this a good mix, and then this is pretty much the filling done. I'm just going to set this off to the side until we need it. So, what I've actually decided to do, so I don't overcook or cook too much of these shells, because they're quite nice, decent size of, where am I? Because they're quite nice, decent sized shells, if it's going to focus. You can see they're quite a nice, decent size. Ugh, it's not focusing properly. Anyway, so I've just opened up the bag and I'm just going to lay them across the two dishes. I'm making one for Nick's mum as she came out of hospital today. So I offered her that I can make her some tea and that this is what she's, we're having and she's super excited for it. I think I'll just like give her a whole thing so she can have lunch tomorrow as well since she's obviously like 
recovering. Uh, so you just want them to not fit nice and snug. So there we go, there are the two shells. And while I finish that, my water has started to come to a boil. So let's salt the water and let's start cooking these shells. Well, it was boiling more with the... It was boiling more with the lid on, but... That's right, we're just gonna add, add them in now. So just cook um, these shells according to the packaging and the brand that you're using or when you can feel it starting to soft, just taste one. But remember we want it not exactly quite cooked through. When it has a couple minutes to go, that's when we want to take them out. So the pasta is still pretty hot. It's it's all right to handle. Um, if you got to give it a couple of minutes, give it a couple of minutes. But here I'm just going to scoop up just a small amount, about half a tablespoon roughly, but also kind of heaped. So that's kind of how it looks like here. And you just want to pop it in the pasta shell. Just like so. But actually I forgot a step. <laughs> so we first actually want to line our dishes with some of the bolognese. And then once they're filled, you just pop it on top like so. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on stuffing these shells and put them up. So that is one tray completely done. I'm going to set that to it aside. And now I'm going to keep on doing the exact same thing for this one. All right, so this one's completely done. I forgot to hit record. So all I'm doing now is adding my leftover bolognese sauce. I just want a thin layer on top. So I want the bottom layer to be thicker, like more of the bolognese on the bottom then on the top but I still want a teeny tiny bit over the surface of the whole lot. Now we're just going to top these up with some grated cheese. Alright so my oven is preheated to 200 degrees. I'm going to pop both of these in for about 15 to 20 minutes. Alright so taking this butter I'm going to take about 50 grams. And with that, I'm going to add about a tablespoon or just under, or roughly about a tablespoon of garlic. And I'm going to put this in the microwave until the butter is melted. It's only about 15, 20 seconds. So like I mentioned as well, um, I got these focaccia rolls. Just 
mix up the butter. Now that in itself already smells amazing, but with the oregano and the thyme that we used earlier, I'm gonna just do a teeny tiny sprinkle of both in with this as well. Uh, not oregano and basil, I mean, wait, I don't know what I said, but oregano and basil, yeah, that's what we're using now. <laughs> I think that's a time. I don't know. Let's give that a mix. I'm just going to, because we want the tops and the bottoms. Actually, I'll use a proper bread knife. Serrated knife. Oh. Stamp some light. Just going to cut them into strips like so. And now taking with a brush and you want to make sure to scoop up all that nice good garlic and just brush it on. And I'm only going to butter and brush one side, the other side can just be plain toasted. Alright, I'm so sorry about the lighting but I cannot help it. So that is what they look like. I'm going to place these on a baking tray. I'm not going to worry about lining it or anything. And that's just going to go in the lower rack in my oven. It's been in the oven for probably about eight minutes or so now. The sauce is bubbling. I'll just show you guys actually. I'll take you off and show you. As you can see, hopefully you can see at the bottom here, the sauce is bubbling. I do not want the pasta shells to cook any more or any longer. So I've just decided after about seven, eight minutes it's been in the oven. I've just turned on the grill just to get this cheese nice and crispy and i'm pretty sure the filling would be nice and warm by now as well i just got the garlic press there so I'll keep an eye on it now for the cheese to um for the cheese to crisp up i'll take them out put them on the board and then i'll pop the garlic breads up a shelf flip them over and then they should be out shortly after all right so that is dinner done thank you guys so much for watching i'm going to Drop this one off to Nick's mum now. Um, and she can have a couple of bits of the garlic bread as well. And then we'll come home and we'll eat. So that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Where's my fingers? <laughs> there it is. Down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.